Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com with another video about design patterns. Again, right now I'm covering structural design patterns. So now I'm gonna talk about the decorator uh, pattern. Okay, so the idea behind this is, again, you're changing structural, you're changing the structure of objects, whether you're changing how they work together or you're just changing their actual out of the box functionality. So for example, let's create a class that's called, well, the usual, just do ninja. So class, um, class ninja. Okay, we create the class, and then we create a constructor, and we're gonna say this ninja gets a name, and then out of the box, this dot name is the name. Now, as far as ninja stars, it starts out with always starts off with ten. Okay, and then it has one method called this dot sneak. Okay, and what this method does, actually it wouldn't be like that, it would be like just sneak. This is part of the prototype. Sneak. And all that does is say console.nog sneaky cool so I have this I have this class that does a thing and maybe I have certain ninjas that have learned how to fly okay but I don't necessarily want to build that into the class just once in a while there might be a ninja that just starts flying and I just want to give that one ninja the ability to fly so I want to kind of like in the same way where I may have many cars but there's maybe only one color or one car that I want to paint pink so a decorator allows you to decorate the instance of a class. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll create a function called fly. So we'll call um, const flying ninja equals, okay, and then we would pass in the ninja as a parameter. And then we would just assign, we would just be like ninja dot fly equals and we just do a function flying console.log flying cool so now I have two ninjas okay so we'll make two ninjas first we'll have Ryu okay who Ryu, who equals a new ninja by the name of Ryu. And then we have const Goku, and Goku can fly. So we'll call him new ninja Goku. Okay, and then Goku can fly, so we need to give him the ability to fly. So we'll say flying ninja Goku. Okay, and now after that function, let's console.log, both our ninjas, console.log, Ryu, and let's console.log, Goku. And then let's see if Goku can fly, Goku.fly. Okay, and let's run this, this code. Although, let's see here, we have an error somewhere. Const fly. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, that's right. This is an arrow function, so I should probably write it like an arrow function instead of like a like the nothing. Save. There we go. That's fixed up. Okay, let's just run this code. Cool. So you see here, Ryu is just a normal ninja with his ten ninja stars, but. Goku, the ninja Goku, has that function fly because we ran that decorator function on him. Um, cool. And then I can just actually use that function. Okay. So you might have noticed in, in like, if you ever seen like anything like TypeScript, like if you've used like Angular or any other TypeScript based frameworks, you might have actually noticed decorators is actually a big thing in a lot of TypeScript based frameworks. Okay, so I would have written this function, just like I wrote the function here, flying ninja, would have been just the same same deal, a function. 
But in TypeScript, it's like an experimental feature, so you have to unlock it. You have to like go in the TypeScript file. But instead of doing this, what I could have done is just say something. I could have just done something like this, like const Goku, and then decorated it with flying ninja. Okay, so basically the way like the decorator works in TypeScript is that when it sees this syntax, it's going to run this function and pass in whatever comes next into it as a parameter. So it would have passed this Goku variable into the flying ninja function. And it's just a way to kind of add. So basically the idea is that it literally decorates it, acts functionality to, to that. Okay, so it's, it's literally I'm making a function and I'm just wrapping the function. I, I'm literally doing the same thing as I did literally two seconds ago. It's just, if you see that syntax in frameworks like Angular, Stencil, um, full TS and other TypeScript based frameworks, what's going on there, this is literally what's going on there. They're just basically running a function that adds functionality to what comes right after it. Um, and you know, so this way you can sit there and say, hey, here's my core class that has all the core functionality that it's always gonna need, but my decorators will add the extra stuff I need for certain situations. Um, and that's the concept of a decorator. So my name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. If you guys enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please go follow me on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you may decide to be social. And you have a great day and enjoy.